Hi, my name is Laura DiPolito. I'm a clinical social worker, and I'm here with my friends Truman and Eleanor Roosevelt. We're here to talk with you about the importance of sleep and give you some ideas of ways to make going to bed easier for you and your child. Some people find that when they aren't sleeping enough, they have hard time focusing at school. They might be a little irritable, their mood might get off, it might even be hard for them to stay safe. So we're going to teach you some cool things you can do at home that are easy and fun to improve your child's sleep, maybe yours too, and everyone should feel happier and safer. Sometimes when Truman gets a little overtired, he actually acts more hyperactive and he gets the zoomies or the wiggles. Here he is zooming around our front yard. It's kind of hard to imagine that he's overtired, but that's really what's going on here. It's super helpful if you can have a bedtime routine where you go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on the weekends. 7.30 is a great bedtime. It's also helpful if you can set aside time for your child, if they have any worries, to express them before the night gets too late. If there's any exercise to be done, try to do it well before dinner. Exercise can activate the brain and keep you awake. Bedtime routines such as taking a bath can be very soothing to a child and a puppies. Brushing your teeth is also an important part of their nighttime routine. As is reading a book together can be very fun to share a favorite story. And kisses. Make sure you put away all electronics for the night in a room that's separate from where you sleep. And then tuck your child into a cool room, give them a kiss good night, and turn down the lights. Wishing you happy dreams.